What's up, fire signs? It's your girl, Isabella Teratoro, back to the again, gonna hit you with your October reading. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, love donations. You guys are greatly appreciated. I'm not currently accepting any personals in this time, but you're more than welcome to follow me on to my Etsy spiritual shop or to my Patreon, okay? Um, that's where all my extended videos are. I've got three tiers. The first tier is just the extended videos to the videos that you see posted on YouTube. The second tier is my Bella's Book of Shadows and extended videos. And my third tier is Bella's Book of Shadows, extended videos, and then you get your own personalized 10-minute uh, video read each month. So we're just going to go ahead and get in here to see what it is that you need to know for the month of October. Okay, um, I did pull a few cards just to see where the energy was going for the month of October. I feel like for some of you, you've been having a very a repetitive situation. I feel like some kind of cycle is trying to bring itself back into look water before I even get. I was gonna say I feel like it's definitely a water sign. Um, I feel like you may have two reoccurring situations that are going to present themselves in the month of October. Okay, one feels like it could be a feminine energy coming back around, possibly a friend, family member, or someone who you know um, wants back in. Basically, somebody's wanting a second chance. Somebody's wanting to make amends. All right, all right. We're gonna look into that to see whether you should or not. But you know, okay. And then we've definitely got a masculine who is trying to come back in, but it feels like it's not a, um, anybody, uh, someone who is, look, I say it's not a uh, king, and I'm saying cougar. I feel like you're more mature than whoever this person is. It's a younger individual who is trying to come back in, but I feel like you're a little guarded on whether you should even entertain this individual, all right? But this person is coming back around and is going to offer you they're offer you something we're gonna see what they trying to offer but i feel like you're definitely going to have two people circling back around it's like you knew that it was coming um but i feel like you you've got other things that you're trying to balance out in october that you're really not that's not your main priority but they're letting you know it's coming okay addiction okay i feel like you have the uh, <laughs> this person who may be circling back around to you may have addiction issues. What is this that flipped over? Oh boy. Results are in. Somebody was hiding, hiding results. Okay. Um, I feel like you may be getting some kind of information about um, this masculine. I'm definitely seeing this masculine has some kind of addictive energy that is going to be almost like... <laughs> This person, they're, they're having issues in putting it down. Whatever their vice is, they're having a hard time putting it down. I am seeing someone who possibly, like, they go for older women because they have issues with their financial status. They have issues holding on to their money, and they need somebody who is more mature that can basically... They're looking for a mama. Whoever this is, you got somebody coming in who sees you as you know, a, like the bag, okay, the plug, all right, I feel like you've got your shit together, <laughs> your shoes together is what I heard, so I feel like you're, you've definitely moved on from this individual, you're like, I ain't got, I ain't gonna have no parts, okay, I feel like I'm seeing you slick your hair back, you over here doing the damn thing, is it a high ponytail, it looks like a high ponytail or a bun or something, but it's like, I see you, I see you like really getting ready, pulling yourself together in the month of October, okay, um, I'm definitely feeling that this person is coming back around to you because they are in need of some kind of assistance. Letting you know off jump. There is something going on. Like I feel like this person may be facing some kind of... They're stuck. And they feel like you would come through and possibly get them out of a sticky situation. All right. I'm definitely feeling that spirit's wanting you to be aware of there is a masculine individual who is very either stuck physically or in their head about you. That they, they want to come forward, but they don't know how. Um, they've wanted to for quite some time. But I feel like this, this individual has like some serious issues with like not just addiction. I feel like they, they have a hard time, a hard substance abuse. So this person is someone who um, has several vices is what I'm getting. They don't just have one. Okay. 
Um, sometimes it may be like a, a sex addiction. Sometimes it may be a drug addiction. Next thing you know is like a drinking. Like it's just like they pick up one thing after the next. And and like I feel like it's also I'm um, getting some things are starting to add up in the situation. Add up. I feel like. <clears throat> They are mismanaging their money with financial issues over here. I feel like they're trying to figure out how to get out of a situation. And I feel like you may have someone coming trying to get you to get them out of a sticky situation. Okay. Um, this masculine could be a son or it could literally, look, definitely somebody's son. But I feel like it could be, because um, this is a general message, but I feel like this is either... They feel like a child. It feels like a child, like a grown ass child. All right. Um, I feel like they're also coming in trying to, uh, they're coming in more peaceful now. I feel like they've got their ass handed to them or they've been going through some kind of tower moment where they've been having to, you know, literally deal with the implications of their own choices, actions, and decisions. Okay. Um, I feel like they're actually being. <laughs> They're seeing what they've been doing, all right? I feel like people are starting to point it out to this individual, okay? Um, I'm getting you, I'm hearing you saying it's about, it was a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. You always knew that this person was going to circle back around to you, all right? Well, they've, get, they've gotten some kind of results and they're done with the bickering and fighting. I feel like this person may have um, constantly tried to keep you in your head, Okay, um, keep you guessing. All right, I feel like this person would go on long leaves and leave you guessing. I'm just getting this person would leave you guessing, and you'd always kind of wonder, like, what the fuck? It's like you come in, you talk all this, you know, to me, and then the next thing you're gone. Okay, very young minded individual. Um, this person was known for party hopping. <laughs> I heard party rocking, so I feel like party hopping. I feel like this person was an in and out individual. It's like they would offer you um, some love, but they would never give you the full cup. It's almost like, I feel like games. I'm getting a game playing, okay? I feel like this person's games and antics have also caught back up to them. Um, there's, some, there's some kind of stagnation in their finances. Like, I feel like this person is literally feeling it financially because they are constantly... Um, keeping other people lingering and waiting, okay? Um, I feel like they have definitely gone through some kind of tower moment, a realization point to where they are seeing uh, the error of their ways with whoever they've chosen over you or whatever, um, whichever direction they decided to go. I feel like, you know, uh, they're very in and out. They may have relocated and gone somewhere and realized the grass wasn't fucking greener. The grass was fucking dead. Okay, um, I feel like they literally moved on to someone who did not, um, I feel like they thought that they were getting more when they left or when they went this way than they actually got. And they got over there and got stuck. Like, there was no movement. So this person may have left you in turmoil, left you feeling like, you know, uh, nowhere to turn, like no communication for a certain, like a, a, a long amount of time, okay? I feel like there is some kind of um, information that is going to be coming through in the month of October for you, okay? I'm getting peace offering. So if this person was like, if y'all were on edge, I feel like this person is literally coming through wanting to offer... Uh, not necessarily seeing love, but peace, trying to smooth things over. Um, I do get the energy that they are going to ask you for something. This person is coming through. They, they ain't just wanting peace. It's like they're literally coming to ask you for something in the month of October. What are they asking for? What is this water sign coming back asking for, this masculine? Eight minus three would be five. Five of Swords. I feel like they're just trying to, um, they're coming in with a message, okay? I feel like they may end up telling you, um, about a choice that they had made, where they had relocated to, and literally what went on. I feel like this person is actually coming back, trying to smooth things over, possibly offer a friendship. For those of you who this person is coming, like, I feel like they are hurt. What are they coming back for? They're coming back for you to tend to their wounds. 
Mm -hmm. This person always felt like you had like a nurturing side to you and that you would always be there for them and always tend to their wounds. You've definitely got some kind of masculine individual coming back to you in the month of October, um, hoping that you will, um, that y'all can smooth things over and you'll tend to their wounds. Okay. Um, I feel like this addiction is also taught, like they're in some way addicted to the, like a taker, a vampire, a succubus, like the energy. It's like they need that energy from you to fill them up, to make them feel, you know, like a big strong man again so they can go off and do whatever they want to do, okay? So, you know, we'll look a little bit further on the on Patreon side, but, you know, as far as that goes, like just know that this individual right here, this masculine that's coming back through, is only coming through because they're having suffering financially. And they think that you're the one who um, can get them back on track. They may ask for some kind of financial, her bond. So, a financial bond. Oh my God, some of the, <laughs> uh, some of y'all may be getting a call from the county jail. <laughs> Now, this is a mess. Some of y'all may, may be getting a, a call from the county jail from this person, okay? And they're trying to mend things with you, talk about possible, you know, uh, I feel like you make an apology on how they wronged you, but they may need a bailout bond, may need you to bond them out, okay? Um, but I do get, I just get that this is someone who has backed themselves into a corner, and now they're reaching out to you because you're very stable, okay? But I feel like you, you're not... I feel like you're not in the place, yeah, I see, like, the Hanged Man and King of Swords. Some of y'all may not even want to talk to this individual. I don't feel like you're going to um, be testy or say anything fucking crazy, but I feel like you're, you may just leave them on red. Or maybe they need this time to sit and really continue to think about what they've done, okay? Um, I feel like you're definitely a very, like, you have matured a lot. Mm-hmm. You have matured a lot. And the time that this person has not been in your life, okay? Literally, like, I feel like you may have gone through some kind of possibly a divorce with this person or some kind of ending in a relationship with this person. You may have had a relationship in the past with this person, okay? Um, but I feel like it was only for the ego, only for sexual purposes, all right? I feel like Spirit is telling you, um, you might not want to open your door to this individual in this time, all right? I feel like they may be, well, some of y'all, I see that, y'all may, um, not be listening to your better judgment in this time because the dick may have been good, you know, or whatever. Um, but I feel like you, if you let this person into your house, you better, like, guard yourself because I'm seeing that this person is, um... Known for taking things that aren't theirs. I'm getting thievery. I'm getting, um, you just, you can't trust this individual, all right? I feel like they may be coming through, you know, in a very peaceful energy in this time. But once they get their, you know, their fix, it's like on to the next, on, on to the next one is what I heard. So, you know, take that one for what you will. Let's check out this, um, feminine energy that is going to be trying to resurface and have a second chance with you. What does... Fire sign, I need to know about that. We got temperance. Look, testing the water with that one. I see you testing the water with this one. Testing the water with that feminine energy. What do they need to know in regards to the situation? Can they, like, stay on the table? Mm. Mm. Okay. October. <laughs> what do you need to know? Okay, this person is very depressed, okay? I feel like you have possibly um, given this person the benefit of the doubt, all right? I feel like there is some kind of altercation that takes place between you and this, this person. Um, I feel like there's some kind of conversation that possibly takes place um, that leaves you feeling the need to protect yourself and reassert boundaries. We've got seven minus four will be three of wands, three of wands active way. And you just sitting there looking at this person like, when are you going to get it together? I feel like you are going to continue to give this person a chance, but it's almost like I feel like they don't get it. Um, <laughs> I heard illiterate. Uh, I, I just feel like this person doesn't get it. Um, I feel like whoever this is is going to try to test your you emotionally or see if you will react emotionally. Um, I'm getting that it's a very passive aggressive female. All right. I feel like this person possibly says underhanded shit and 
but oh poor pitiful me oh woe is me okay i feel like you test the waters with this you know because at one point in time you may have had some kind of friendship with this with this person but i feel like whoever this is is emotionally manipulative they are going to circle back around but i feel like it's possibly going to be the same cycle um i feel like tread lightly with this one is really what they're saying i feel like this person is going to invite you out to some kind of event or get together okay I feel like you are going to um, need to be mindful. Look, I've got over here. We got the King of Wands popping out. Either this is possibly their partner, or this could be your partner. But I feel like, um, why do I feel like this person is orchestrating shit behind the scenes? Uh huh. We got family situations popping out. Ten of Cups, Death. Got Scorpio out here. We've got Nine of Wands and King of Pentacles. Okay, so even with this feminine energy, there's messages coming out all around that. And I'm seeing like, um, I heard a family fuck up. All right. I feel like there is going to be some kind of... You're going to have to hold your boundaries with some kind of um, masculine energy as well. This could possibly be dealing with like I'm for some of y'all I feel like this is like a female that you had it's either a female in your family or a female that you had worked with okay um I feel like they had tried to put you in some kind of competition in the workplace or in the family it's look I guess I need to stick with one and go forward with it okay nine of wands minus seven of wands would be two of wands. Okay. Yeah. Business. We're going to go with the business. Okay. So I feel like there was a friend that you might have possibly or a friendship that you would have with somebody in your place of employment. Okay. I feel like y'all had, um, definitely gone at it a little bit. I feel like there was some kind of competition going on there that you may not have been completely aware of. Um, I feel like that is also going to be ending in this time. Okay. I definitely see an end to a conflict with someone who um, may have been a really close friend of yours. I feel like um, this person is actually going to reach out to you. I feel like there's going to be a conversation taking place that, you know, in some kind of beef, um, either between you and Look, I'm talking about to the fire signs, so this could be anybody. But I feel like there's some, there's an ending of a beef happening for you in the month of October, on both ends. Okay, um, but I'm definitely seeing that <laughs> conversations taking place. I feel like this person may come back and want to try to work with you. I feel like you're going to um, definitely take your time um, on making that type of decision. Waterworks. Oh Lord. Oh, did I say emotionally manipulative? <laughs> You've got a lot of emotionally manipulative people around you. Fire signs. Okay. Legal deals. The fuck? Okay. And secrets. Oh, dear. Okay. So, I'm definitely seeing, like, this around that feminine energy that's coming back into your life. There is somebody trying to um, come through and tell you about something that you were not aware of in the month of October. And I feel like that's also, whatever the secret is that's going to be revealed, I feel like um, whoever this is that's bringing this to the forefront and talking about it, they do feel remorse at this time for keeping secrets, okay? Um, and I feel like they're definitely trying to come through and work with you. There's going to be some serious conversations taking place in the month of October. Um, for those of you who have been dealing with some kind of legal, like, legal situations in regards to, like, possible baby mama, baby daddy stuff, all right? I feel like there is going to be a revelation with that, okay? But I also feel like it's something that you already knew. We've got the high priestess was the main energy around the whole reading. So, I feel like there's secrets that were going on behind the scenes, okay? Um, stuff that you didn't have full proof on, that you are going to be getting full proof on. Full proof. Hold on. Full proof. I'm getting a plan as foolproof. So, for some of you, you may actually want to collaborate with this this individual. I would suggest to wait until uh, Mercury goes direct instead of while it's in retrograde. But you know, do what you do, boo boo. But uh, if you if you step into that before it's completely over and done, you may end up um, in the same situation you were in before. 
heads up and having to redo contracts and agreements. But I'm definitely feeling that there will be some resurfacing of some touchy subjects, okay? But I am also seeing something being healed. There's a truth being revealed and it, like there's a lot of healing going on in regards to any kind of legal situations for you guys in the month of October. We're going to keep going um, over there to Patreon to see what that is. Love you so much, guys, and I'll see you later.